exit Lee Cornwall out here and we're going from Lee Cornwall out. Well, three during the day and there was a lot of high pressure sodium uh, bulbs still in service. So I might as well document it for the sake of documentation. Lee on the motorway, a couple of orange bulbs here, but we're going on to the other one and then here, oh that looks almost like the socks, so amazing. Let's see how we go here, and now I'll turn right here into uh, Lincoln Road, and now we'll see what happens, see how quick these lights are going to work for me tonight. Back here, fantastic night, there's no wind, so the wind is, the weather is just perfect. Skip that face if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah it does. Oh, they put some intelligence in these lights. It used to go all the way, follow the sequences, but uh, yeah. So I think that's, this is a newish intersection. Well, not newish, but they have rehashed a lot of stuff here. There's all LED here, unfortunately. But um, as we advance into uh, Lincoln Road, we're heading towards Henderson. We'll document uh, here on this way, uh, see what we're going to find here on um, the lights, just documenting. It's also a pity, I find, the cameras never do it exact justice. These lights look bloody good, but cameras seem to struggle. I wish you could get a uh, USB port on your eye and you just got to document what your bloody, uh, what your actual eye records. Um, because an eye, a human eye is fantastic. It is such good capacity. The resolution is like 8K or 16K or whatever you want. Oh, the lights come out pretty good here. So this road is also going to be converted. Um, at the moment, I think it's still uh, the situation less when a bulb fails, they replace it with an LED cluster. But then the LED cluster fails and they put another LED cluster. I say, well, I'll put a bit put the uh, roadsters back up, uh, golf light 600 or so, you know. And Lincoln Road still looks very good. It's, uh, yeah, nice. At least we've got the sodium crystals still doing the job here, which is uh, very pleasing. So this is heading into Henderson. And we'll uh, analyze the situation here. Gas stations. Oh, this looks really good. Really good. This is 50k road, and there is a couple of speed cameras here. The red light cameras. So you need to be cautious. Traffic lights are amazing. If you want to stop for the lights, because you have to do something. Uh, they go green and vice versa if you want to go from A to B reasonably quick they always go red this road when I came here in 1988 in New Zealand there was only two lanes and it was all orchards orchards, vineyards, uh, grapes, uh, apples all that stuff and now it's uh, five lanes I think they're going to make it wider again, they're going to put bicycle lanes in there and uh, some other things I think. Probably obstacle course with all these stupid traffic islands and things like that. We're going past the hospital, Waitakere Hospital, maternity ward, whatever. be a boring video but I'm sure people who like um, into lighting and all the technologies which are still around but they'll be gone in a few years and these are quite this is I'll just document this stuff stuff my background a bit of it's a bit of uh, music or so you know and just having a bit of a vlog um, I'm quite busy lately uh, just finished night shift the time is 0101 hours on the 15th January 2021 and we're going into an uh, intersection with Swanson Road as a road to the right we're going left for going driving through the township I just want to see the situation of the lights in there whether they have replaced them to uh, LEDs or whatever so it's going to have a quick 
it's quite amazing that it's 19 degrees and I've dropped down a little bit. It was before 23 degrees for quite a while. I have to wait for these flipping lights, so just keep be patient. Yeah, there we go. Green, green, green. Well, this is the township heading into Henderson now. Railway line has been out of service here for the last six or eight weeks because they are redoing all the tracks and all of the rails were worn out and had to upgrade all types of stuff. So no diesels here, which is a pity. I like the sound of diesels. Police car is the disco on. Going on, he doesn't have a siren on, so can't be too bad, I guess. And this is a little LED. It's already screwed up here with these stupid speed humps here, that's almost the way they do it in councils. Wellside Ave, Ratanui Street, crossing. Town is pretty tidy. Got more obstacle courses here. A little halide in there too, and it's not too bad. The council's are obsessed with these fucking speed humps. They should be all abandoned these things. Like pissing people off with all this nonsense. Up the hill here we're heading towards a Glen a Dean. This is already partially uh, some more LED lights in here. Nearly home and then it's time for a nice warm and cola. Tonight we had an uh, oil switch maintenance, quite an easy job. Uh, one offload and uh, uh, make a gap in the line where we were working and just to get the maintenance is carried out on the equipment. Here the council has replaced all the LED clusters in here. close this video off with my socks in my driveway because that is still the best lights. And that's part of my other video too. We've got a conversion, we've got a double uh, high pressure sodium on the intersection. And then the one next is one LED and the other one is still uh, high pressure, so this is really cool actually. Let's see if the camera will pick up, it's probably just out of focus. So we're going on to Great North Road here, this is Glendine, it's just a little, little couple of shops and stuff. And we're heading towards uh, Stonekels or Kelston via the Great North Road. Kirby Street, on the left. As I said before, the temperature is 19 degrees in summer January, and it's uh, yeah, actually pretty good. Heading in for a very long dry spell by the sound of it at this stage because we uh, haven't had too much rain or the rain fell in the wrong areas hence our water lakes are a bit low. And I may document it in a video when I go back to the dams have a look at uh, the situation there. 
So here we got all LEDs. They replaced all a uh, few of the lights here, unfortunately. They had Golf uh, 600s here. And we got some HPS again. It's just nice. When the COVID uh, dramas are over, I still want to make another trip back to Europe. Uh, I want to go to the UK as well, because uh, there still appear to be quite a lot of uh, low pressure sodiums in service. And of course, in the Netherlands, where I'm, I'm originally from, um, I was surprised to see low pressure sodiums there still in service. The main thing is also the contrast is fantastic. I know the color rendering is not ideal, it's low pressure, but the contrast is fantastic. And when you have snowfall or shiny roads, it is the perfect color, 589 nanometers. The human eye is more sensitive towards the yellow color too. Even with the high pressure sodiums, it's a pleasant color to look at. The white LEDs is on the bluish side, which is actually too bright. Oh, I'm gonna get a red light here. Uh, stop. Oh, there's a car there, because some traffic lights are designed. They sit green, and as soon as you come within the area, they go red, just to uh, annoy you. That's the way they're set up. It's really ridiculous. There we go. This intersection is Glenview Road, there's Glen Eden. Great North Road here, we've got the lamps on one side because it's still the overhead line on the side here. The 33,000, 11,000 and 415. Burble is uh, hearable, audible on this uh, particular video clip. The end they were closed, I know that. Corn Brigade's already destroying another township with more speed humps and traffic uh, detours and all the other things. We'll grab this. Oh, yeah, we've still got a few uh, HPSs here. Countdown, this is a shopping mall here, Stonecal Mall, Kelston Mall. Over about. This is the last uh, high pressure sodium. It's all. Uh, LED miserably. Pleasant road, <laughs> close to my house here. This is a road they have completely screwed up. They set these nice sodium. Look at these miserable little stubby lights. Talking about progress, it's just regress. Okay, we'll cut the video here.